my day. Yeah. Mic stands or not? Yes. I ran seven yesterday on the beach barefoot. Oh, it yeah. Hurts so bad right now. <laughs> Sandy Beach has a lot of shells on it. Mm hmm. Put your own salt. Sandy Beach, not so much. Oh, look at that. That's the fitness. See that? See what I'm talking about here? Watch out. Look, we're dropping branding. Every day I'm branding. Yeah, I like. Yeah, this looks better too. Because this whole, like, this angle, like, yeah. the whole time you're it's just like, ears. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Like, this is, this is so much better. Even, like. All right, we got. Go on, um, Facebook. You want to um, get on your log in or what are you looking at? Facebook on there? I just look at whatever. I don't want my screen off. Oh. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, let's, like, maybe if I logged in. I just look at whatever we are talking about. There was a problem. No. No problem. No problem. Try another way. Oh, I don't like this. It didn't send me a code. I feel like. Do we have to like go there? Um, I'm just trying to log into Facebook, man. For some reason, it logged me out on this computer. Did you want um? Didn't get a code. No, I did not get a code. <laughs> So set up and I'll start bullshitting and then go pee. Alright, um, can I just get my I had I I I made I removed her post, this girl in this group. Mm -hmm. And because it was just like sign up for or, uh, all about her business and like send clients and here's how to how to set appointments i'm like that's not what this group is about this group is about supporting the business owners not promotions for your oh, business yeah, yeah, yeah. and it says that in the rules because sandy said that would happen people start promoting their shit mm -hmm. and i was like all right um i, I can't get into facebook it's... <laughs> so you know there's a lot of me and less to do so let's do I can move over. I was just trying to go catty corner so we each had some room. Yeah, I just want to give you space. Yeah, I'm 
promoted. They there's like a new Facebook app. Maybe that's why I can't get on. They have a gaming section. Log in, please. Mm -hmm. Oh, see, it's logged in. Okay, there you go. Uh, I love St. Pete. I'm going to go ahead and start the live stream. Do you have notes for that thing um, that we're promoting? Um, is it the 72 hour flood relief? I'll, I'll jump on there while we're on that because I can go back to the room. Okay. Are we live right now? Yeah. Oh. All right. We are, if we are live, we are setting up, just finishing up our final touches here, getting everything set up week to week. Yeah, it looks like we are live. Very cool, very cool, very cool. Well, my name is Brian Orr. Christopher Tolosano is in the other room. He'll be helping us out here in just a minute. And basically what we've been doing, this is our third week now. We're going live on I Love St. Pete, and we talk about business, development, branding, strategy, marketing, uh, really pricing strategy, I mean, all sorts of things, whatever you're having problems with, client acquisition, advertising, um, some things we like, some things we don't like. And the first couple of weeks, if you missed it, we had a chance to review a couple of businesses, a couple of people came in and they, they asked us to review their websites or uh, an ad plan or something like that they had. So that's, we've kind of been doing that live and just having some fun with it. This is Chris. Hey kids, how are we doing today? Ooh, we have our- it's five o'clock here. Yeah, my five o'clock <laughs> is black raspberry. This is not alcoholic, right? Or you're good, just making sure. Or is it? World score, I know, right? Look, it looks like it's fuzzed out on the screen. That's why I always have my own cup. You don't know. You never know. <laughs> Drinking IPAs. No, I'm just kidding. I have my hot drink. Keep me awake for the evening and my cold drink. All right, well, so Chris, what's up? Introduce yourself, man. I love this layout. This is better this week? You yeah. guys like this better? I feel like we're hosting a talk show. Our podcast is literally evolving in front of our audience's eyes. It's called Build in Public. We started three weeks ago. Um... I had a different co-host. <laughs> he says like, yeah, let's do this every Friday at five. And he's like, oh, I keep them booking, booking appointments. appointments. So, yeah. yeah. Um, Marcus, where are you? <laughs> yeah. So Marcus is going to be here. Uh, not today, but he'll be here on and off. I guess as we, as we, I guess probably the three of us will rotate one way or another. Um, yeah. So yeah. are these mics? Is everything, can you guys hear everything? Oh, I don't have the, uh, you know, let me make sure we're, I think we're, I think we're good on the mics. I'm seeing something different on your screen. I just want to make sure that uh, as far as viewership goes or if anybody comes in to chat that I have it. So yeah, so uh, a couple of people starting to jump on. What's up, everybody? We're talking business uh, or whatever. It's Friday afternoon. We're in St. Pete. I love St. Pete is allowing us to do this on their stream. Uh, thank you to thank Stan. You. Thank you, Stan. And we have a couple things just with regards to what's going on with Stan's fund for uh, donation. So jump in with that when you get a second, Chris. I'm but actually going to pop it on uh, underneath in the comment section uh, where you can donate. Sweet. And that raising is, money for Shore Acres. Yep. All the families that were displaced from the hurricane that came through a few weeks ago. Um, yes, yeah, Stan Arthur started a... Uh, donation drive for them uh 72 hour flood relief total is uh, it's actually made three thousand dollars in the last 72 hours which is pretty cool nice nice yeah. so yeah i mean this is we're like you said we're just in the i love st pete group so we're local uh, people speaking to local people so we're also raising money for local people for that uh for the shore acres fund and other than that we're here to talk about business or or fitness or lifestyle or whatever. So anyone that's watching, if you have questions, if you think that uh, 
I don't know, you don't feel like you're wondering why we're up here. Or <laughs> <laughs> what are these guys rambling what on these guys, about? What are these guys chatting about? Whatever. Uh, throw some stuff in the comments because as of right now, still, unfortunately, we don't really have um, like the two-way comm sort of thing set up. We will get that set up. But for right now, it's it's in the comments. So if you have comments, questions, you want us to look at your website, you want us to review something, some marketing, some business, you have questions about pricing, um, client acquisition, client retention, managing relationships, branding, whatever it is, just uh, just hit us with with the questions. This might um, or this, just say hi. This might help too. Um, you just rebranded, got a new website, onehappyclient.com. Can you tell me more about uh, what what, what all that was all about? Yeah. So uh, the new website is called onehappyclient.com, and just for the sake of consideration, I purchased O N E Happy Client, and I also purchased the number one Happy Client. So either way, if you hear it and you go to it. You'll get, um, you'll get there. Oh yeah, it is cut off a little bit, huh? Yeah, that's weird. Can you can you yeah. pinch it down? Let me pinch it down. Pinch it down. Finger this out. Yeah. So one happy client is basically, when the, the long story short of myself, I don't want this to be about myself, but but I was a, a, a touring DJ for a very long time, and I've had a bunch of other businesses in in the mix and a bunch of investments and stuff in the mix, but. With that one in particular, you know, upon reflection in in recent years, I've realized like what my true strength was with how I got the success that I had as a DJ, and how I was able to get media uh, on ABC, on Disney, on Fox, uh, and magazines, international press, and really what it came down to was relationships. It was, uh, you know, the way that I dealt with my clients and then just like nurturing those relationships for just this infinite kind of referral system that happened just from my first few gigs. And it just kept like spinning and spinning and spinning through relationships. And I realized that I had done that in a few other businesses as well. And I've had success and I've had success in teaching that. So I kind of read this was originally just my website, my personal brand, which was myself as a business consultant strategist. But I just decided to go with the name because I think it's a little more um, it's a little more specific to what I do, like with the premise that if everything was taken away from you in your business and all you were left with was one happy client, like could you build a business that way? How would you treat that client? What would you do? And is that what you're doing now? Likely not. And how do you get yourself in a position where you can treat all of your clients the way you would if you only had one? And then would you be able to build a business out of that? So that so I kind of brought that all in to uh, one happy client. So you wanted to basically put your current customer base front and center in your in um, in your business plan. Like a lot of times, I think you, you taught me this that like. We spend a lot of money marketing to people that aren't in our in our business yet, and we have this whole like resource right under you know right under our roof, basically our business roof, where we have all these customers that have been referred to us and then referring us people, and we've had them for years, and they're great customers. What do we do to incentivize them for being awesome advocates of our business? Like, yeah, I think there's just a massive disconnect with what people think that they need to do to get new business. And it's, and primarily at its core, people think that they have to go outward to get new business. They need to do it through advertising. They need to do it through content generation. Now, now those things have their place, but you know, there's ways where you can actually build, you know, if you just took, took some of that effort that you think you need to do on your logo and your, and your, your ads, and you put that effort into managing your existing client relationships, people would be amazed, shocked and amazed at the, at the results that would come from that. The low cost, low effort, high reward results that come from that as opposed to smashing your face against the wall trying to get ads out. Yeah, yeah, so that Zuck can build a 3D metaverse uh, with, and 
have conversations with Lex Friedman. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we're, we're sitting here it's right crazy. now on Facebook, right? And yeah, and I mean, I'm sure anyone that's watching this has run Facebook ads one way or another. And um, it's expensive. And, yeah, it's super expensive. And what is your return? I mean, what 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 is your real return from the time that you you think about your ad, you write your copy, you design your ad, you you, you run a few iterations, you sample your ad, and you go, you see, you put it live and, you know, you get what, 10 people, a hundred people, a thousand people, but how many of those convert? You get as many as you want. If you pay enough. Yeah, exactly. As long as you're so paying enough, you'll get all one, the clicks. One thing I notice with our, our customers that love us are, you know, I call it their family at this point, because I've had some of my clients for over 15 years. Um, some of our clients, they, they'll record their, you know, a workout they're doing with their trainer, throw it up on their Instagram and all of a sudden their entire network sees them working out at best day. Mm -hmm. That's just because they love us. They love, they love what we've done for them. We love them. It's just as, it's awesome. It's, it's, it's like, it's, it's family. It's like you're supporting your family. Like if you have a good business where your customers love you, it is a, it's a, it's a family dynamic at that point. Like you love each other, you care for each other, you would support them. They would support you. So why are we spending to try to get people that don't even know us, which, mm -hmm. yeah, sure. Eventually they come in and they become a family member, but they don't, I mean, they have, they're bombarded all day long, all these ads from different things where you already have the hottest of leads, mm -hmm. <laughs> like magma leads in your, in your building. And what, like, what, how can, what do you teach a business, to, like how to incentivize those people? So I think what happens is like, it's almost like we're on this thrill of the chase, right? This primal instinct to, to chase. So if you work with me, now I've got you, mm -hmm. right? So I've got you, I service you, you're happy. Hopefully, I mean, you, uh, listen, on all this said and done, you have to have good service or product. I mostly work with service, um, but you know, you have to have good service. So that, that has to stand, we're, we're, we're just putting that as like, we all do great business <laughs> here, right? Um, but now I have you as a satisfied client and what happens is most business owners start to like, they just take that for granted. Like, okay, that person bought from me. So I won that one. Now let me go win another one. Right. Whereas the, if they, if they re refocused, recentered on now, okay, what if I learned a little bit more about why you bought from me? What if I studied you, surveyed you, and incentivized you to give me some feedback on why you chose me and why, you know, what I could do better and all of that stuff. And then ultimately saying, hey, do you know anyone else that has the same problem as you? Do you know anyone else who would be looking for a solution that I provide? And that someone else is going to be what? It's going to be someone that's either that's going to be scrolling Facebook and, and clicking on ads or Instagram or whatever it is. And the chances of your conversion of that are, I don't know what the numbers are off the top of my head, 3%, something like that. Or you turn around and you say, hey, John, listen, my, my buddy over here, this guy that I've been working with, he's, he's doing this thing. He's crushing my branding. He's crushing my marketing. He's crushing my stuff. You, I know that you're having this problem. Why don't, why don't you give him a call? You're, you're vetting, you're vetting your customers with your customers or you're having your customers vet your new customers and like, not like, not just recruit for you, but vet them also. They're bringing cool people in. Qualified leads. But yeah. Like, people that, like, when hot, they come in, hot qualified leads. And when they come in, they, they already have heard how awesome you are and not to sugarcoat anything. They come in with their, their credit card yep. ready to spend because they're like, my friend loves you. You must be doing something right. Here, take my money. Yeah, you can only screw it up at that point. Yeah. So, but or or you can never get to that point, and that's the problem that most people have. They don't ever get to that point because they don't. Their focus is so aligned on 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 the next chase, on grabbing that next batch of customers. If I can only scale, if I can only get more and more and more customers, perhaps. But if those more and more customers are you know, more and more headaches. Yeah. <laughs> but no, what I mean, like, like it costs so much more and in terms of time and energy and effort, mind space, and then money. Are, are they going to be your ideal client? 
And that's a whole other thing. Who like you, you have your with? ideal client here. Yeah, right here, <laughs> because you're already my client, right? So now you turn around and say, yeah, you know what? I've, I've had this problem, and for the last three months, I've been talking to people and telling them about this problem, and I found out four, five, six, seven of my friends also have this problem. And now that I found you and you're the solution, you know, you just need to be prompted, incentivized, right? Led down the path of now nurtured, right? And now led down the path of so saying, what is, show me those other five. So what does that path look like? Man, I can't give it all away for here, here for free. Wow. Come on, man. I, I, thought, I, thought, I thought we were giving out free shit today. <laughs> is this is a free no, shit but, day? <laughs> no, but you know what I am doing for free? Actually, on Wednesday... I am teaching a master class at Best Day Fitness for the fitness and wellness industry, right? Is yeah. that who we're, who we're yeah. working with? Mm -hmm. So fitness, wellness, so we're thinking doctors, physical therapists, personal trainers, Nutri massage therapists. Nutritionists, nutritionists yoga instructors. Yoga. Hypno um, hyp hypnosis. Uh, you know, spin. Acupuncturists. Spin class. Pilates. Teachers. Peloton. Health coaches. Yeah. On Life Wednesday. coaches. On if, Wednesday. If you help somebody else to live longer, this is this is for you. If yeah, so that's <laughs> what that's Wednesday at Best Day Fitness at what time? Seven o'clock. Where you seven o'clock. First Wednesday of every month we're doing the master class series at Best Day at seven o'clock. This month, Brian is going to be uh dropping some knowledge bombs uh for our first ever master class series. So you will be the, the first of many. Um, and that then, way I can screw it up. I don't have to worry about living up to anyone else's standards. <laughs> and then listen, whatever. It can only go up from there, maybe. I don't know. But at least I'm not going to screw it up. You got to be first. You got to be first to market, right? You got to get out there. So, uh, yeah, that will be. Um, and you're going to be talking more about kind of elaborating on what, you know, what that journey looks like yeah, for a customer. Absolutely. And how to set that up. So you are re 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 making sure your customers know all the steps and everything they can do. But you got to make it easy for them. Like, yeah. Yeah. You you that's the problem. Them. You got to let people know. People don't, you assume that everybody knows what you got going on in your head. Exactly right. You got to get it out there. You got to let people know if you're not talking to your, your customer base, ask them questions, getting feedback. They like you, you have, you have to leverage the, your people that you got, like utilize them. They're a resource, they're data, they're, they're test subjects for your business and they love being there and being a part of it, which is awesome. Like, and they're also people. And that's the mm -hmm. thing. Like you're a person, they're a person, even your company is a person. Um, and, and I think, uh, I think a lot of times in business, we lose that, we lose that perspective. And it's just about, like I said, getting that next stranger to come over and sign on the dotted line. And, and, and that's why so many businesses fail and so many businesses fail early. Because they don't have that, that I guess, wherewithal, that perspective to say, man, I just had one person come in and they really loved it. Like, how do I, how do I leverage that? How can I make, continue to make that person feel such a value for myself and my business that they want to then put their their own reputation on the line? Mm -hmm. That's and that's right. That's to, a very to then, tough ask to then. Um, you know, recommend my business. So uh, just to just to reset here, we are here on a Friday afternoon. We do this every Friday. This is our third Friday. And we're out here just to talk about business, but not ours. We're here to talk about your businesses. So we're live on I Love St. Pete on Facebook. And thank you, Stan, for, for having us on here. We are, uh, we have the payment, not the payment, the donation link for, um, for the families over at Shore Acres, so we're 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 local. We're right here in on what is this? Is this Gulf? Is this Pasadena? Is this Saint Pete? Like Pasadena, Gulfport, we're Saint like, Pete border. We're right? like in this in this spot, but we're here. We're local. You're here. You're local. So um, yeah, we're donating for local families, and that's what we're that's our goal for today is to try to raise a couple bucks for them. But what we're trying to do for you guys is answer your business questions. And unfortunately, like I mentioned earlier. We haven't quite got the two-way comms up where you can like call in, but we'll figure that out. Um, but if you have any questions, whenever you jump in, whenever you're watching this, we're going to be live from like five to six p.m. and uh, jump throw some throw your business questions in the comments underneath the video, and that's probably going to be our best way. I wonder if we should can we do like a this is our third week. 
we're still figuring everything out. You're watching us build in public because that's what you, you know, that's what you should do. We're going to make a lot of mistakes and you guys can rag on us. You can do whatever because we're going to learn. We're going to keep growing and, do, and doing this as we're figuring out. Can you do like a, like a text block? I that can. says like drop your questions in the comments or something like that. So I can. It'll always. Be I there. have to go over there and do it though. You can Is do it right now. Yeah. He can do it right now. It's called. Uh, it's called. Actually, I'll bring the mic with me so we can still talk. Um, it's oh, called cool. Stream OBS, and it allows. It's a free free software. So if you are a business owner and you want to start streaming or just uh, capturing content, it's a great way to not only stream but also to record while you're streaming um so let's see here. yeah so we got some viewers jumping on right now some more uh guys like uh chris is getting ready to put on the the text block under the thing we're we're running this little pilot program of coming live to i love st pete on friday afternoons at five o'clock to talk about business so we're talking about your businesses here so whatever you have going on if you have questions is that up there? Um, can you see that? I can see that text. Sweet. Yeah. Oh, hey, saying hi to me. <laughs> Look at this guy. Look at this. This is real time production value here, guys. <laughs> this is massive. I have no idea what he's doing. He's doing something back there. Uh, what is okay? So Andy, um, Andy, you're gonna have to elaborate on that, buddy. I have no idea what that means. What are um. What did you want me to put up on the uh, display? Oh, just put up like um, business questions. Oh. You know, leave comments below. Something simple. Okay, so Andy wrote in uh, Dunbar's number is approximately 150 people. Then there's the next layer based on personal relationships. So is he describing the... Is there some metric that says how many personal relationships are sustainable? Oh yeah, is that's that what we're the um, about? that's like if you look back to our uh, our ancestors when we lived in villages. Uh, usually the usually the clan was like 120 max. Like that's like the, on average most tribes throughout the course of history were always around 120 people. Oh, like I think something along those lines where like we are like that's like our capacity to. Yeah to like that's how many people will meet in our circle in our lifetime that's what it was that that we need interesting to. but now because of social media we have access to millions yeah i was gonna say i love st pete people. has what tens of thousands 000. something insane like that yeah um michelle asked what's it called again i don't know what what you're referring to exactly can you throw a comment in there again as to what exactly you're asking let me get smaller oh that's our problem we got big fonts all right let's bring that down Hey, that's, please ask us your business questions. It's not fancy font. Yeah, that's just, uh, can you can you put like a, what do you call it behind it? Yeah, I can. The background? Just, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'll just, uh, just jump on Canva and build build one. <laughs> but, uh, if, like, my another, point, here's, yeah. here, here's another business hack. Yeah, if you guys do it. not know what Canva is, then you, you need to... Uh, Check it out. Canva. Yeah, so what Canva. kind of tools? What kind of tools are you guys using out there? Um, yeah, uh, Canva.com is great for. It's like Photoshop, and it's it's free. You can upgrade to, for some more premium. Um, Pay for Canva. Yeah, it's only like eight bucks or something. No, it's like. raised. It's it's higher. Twelve ninety. Whatever it is, it's it's well worth it. Well, Photoshop costs. Nineteen dollars a month for a subscription to Adobe. This is a lot cheaper than that. It is, cheaper. and you have to learn how to use Photoshop. This is user friendly, yeah, so anybody. Extremely user friendly. Yeah, it basically does everything you can do on Photoshop. Yeah, do Canva. Uh, we should set up affiliate links for I Love St. Pete so they get <laughs> donations. For yeah. Our, oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. Stan, you want? Can we? Let's do that. Let's see if we can set up. So if we mention software or whatever on here, and someone jumps on, then they'll get the affiliate, and the affiliate can go to the fund for the donations. Brian, this is this is why you are who you are. <laughs> <laughs> Did you think I was going to say why they pay you the big bucks? I don't know what you were going to say. I never know what you're going to say. So Me like, neither. I, I happy you're on that side of the camera right now. I literally make it up as I go. I love it. I love it. All right. All right. So you guys can see all the viewers that are jumping in. We're talking about business. We now have this permanent thing down here that says, please ask us 
your business questions. Uh, Michelle was asking, okay, she wants to know what that app was, the one that you're using to stream. Uh, stream OBS, S-T-R-E-A-M, Stream OBS, Oscar Bravo Sam, <laughs> Silo. What's, what, what's the S? We got any military people that can jump in and <laughs> give us those signs? I have no idea what that is. Um, yeah, so we're talking right now to business people around St. Pete. That's pretty much our audience at the moment. Um, we're looking for, okay, so they can hear your mic. I just want to make sure that they can still hear you over there. They can. Cool. Um, and we're just, we're just rapping. We're just here every Friday. And if we got nothing else to talk about, I don't know, we can talk about football. About what? About uh, football. Football. How about rugby? Oh, New Zealand is destroying Italy right now in rugby. If y'all don't know, I am a huge rugby fan. I've, I've played rugby for a long time. And the World Cup of rugby is going on right now in France. And New Zealand has to win today to stay in the tournament. And they put up 45 points against Italy in the first half. It was Ooh. crazy. Yeah. So it's like the Dolphins last week. Eh? Yeah. Yeah. It was not pretty for Italy. Um, so, yeah. That's uh, what's going on right now. It's on rugby fans? Yeah, it's on Peacock, uh, streaming all the games for like six bucks a month, which is not a bad deal. So the, with, the, with the I Love St. Pete page, there's a lot of people. I see a lot of people jumping on and checking out the, the video. Mm -hmm. And then um, I guess just trying to figure out what we're even doing here. So I'm curious about you. When, as you guys watch this back, if you do watch it back, Tell me what you're doing on the I Love St. Pete page. Are you promoting a business? Are you looking for work? Are you looking for entertainment? Are you trying to find something to do? Do you need to find, um, are you here to find electricians and, and, and other tradespeople? Uh, what, I'm curious what everyone is jumping on this page for because it's growing like crazy. And I know I've used it many, many, many times. And I know a lot of people are getting a lot of, good connections and good relationships mm -hmm. and good working relationships and good recommendations off I Love St. Pete. So if you guys want to jump in the chat whenever you get to this point in the video or if you're watching now, tell me um, tell me what you guys are doing with the page. I'm really curious about that. So no one has a website. So on the first week, we went in on on, on a website. Was it one or two that we did the first week? Two, I, I know we did the we spent a lot of time on dr we did the lines yeah with with dr john so we kind of we kind of went in at his request on his website but nobody's asked for for the website review since then <laughs> because they don't, nobody wants to to face it um it's yeah i i wouldn't want tough. somebody to eat up my or roast my website oh I man i'll roast your website right now should we roast your website please do well i just updated everything and it looks a lot better on, on cell phone now but um, I can throw it up there so you can still get audience. Let's get let's take a look at Chris's website. Unless you guys, we're here for you guys. So if you're watching right now, there's a handful of you guys I can see on right now. Watch that set. Throw your website in there. I'm curious to see what you guys have going on, um, or just comment and tell us tell us something good, tell us something bad. I don't care. We uh, there you go. We're still building. I'll let you. Play oh yeah, can I do that? And then they can the audience can see it too. Okay. All right, so let's see what's going on. Let's get, see what we got here. Y'all ain't chiming in, so I'm gonna get some free advice from Brian. Free advice. All right. So we just landed here on bestdayfitness.com. Best Day Fitness lease oh, spaces. My bad, my bad. I was trying to move you around, not the screen. Oh, it's all good. Put you, let's put you there. Oh, okay, lease space. Oh, I'm on a PC. Don't mind my navigation for this because it's going all out of whack. Wait, no, you're con are you controlling this? I did. I know you're good. Sorry. Oh, okay. That's why I was like, something's wacky here. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. So home, inquire here, learn more about our space layout, our massage room, our physical therapy, our host workshops. Okay, besties, best day lease space, free trial rental. A lot of info for two hours of free rental. Hey, where'd you get that idea? That's a great idea. That's a great. That's a fan. That's a fantastic idea. This is what this is what Brian is good for. He makes up great ideas like that. Like you should do this. Are you tired of paying the majority of your earnings to a landlord or corporation? We provide you the premium 
Now my eyes might be off here, but those fonts look different. My, dude, I can't get the fonts all together. It's the same <laughs> on this to save my life. Oh. Okay. Uh, Does yeah. my eyes deceive me? No, thank you. Like I, I'm I'm working on that one. It looks like they're on. Uh, the next thing, your buttons, um, right here between free trial rental and book a tour, they're different sizes. Boom. He just he doesn't he doesn't hold back, folks. And I different need fonts. I, I haven't insulted you. I'm just pointing it out. No, no, that's yeah. great. No, these are good. Um, a lot of this stuff, it's hard for me to like customize because. So what are you using? Um. Oh no. What? Um, no. Okay. Well, I can't help you with that. No, I'm using lead trackers. So if you're using WordPress, I can no, help you. Anything go else? high level. Yeah, I don't know. No, I, I'm just breaking balls. I mean, yeah, I, I know. That's I know. a fantastic I, thing. I, I just no, it, it's it. it's very very comprehensive. I love it uh, for a lot of it. Let's per, multi purpose uh, uses. But um, yeah, WordPress. I was more. Confident moving things around. Yeah. I wish you were on this side of the camera because now I feel really weird Why? just being by myself. Oh, I'm, I'm still here. I'm You're right here. here. I'm like I'm like a voice in the sky, like and Brian. What about, what about people on uh on I Love Sam Pete? Oh, here we go. I wasn't even looking at it. All right. Um, how do you keep clients in a service-based business that aims to solve their problem? I know you spend more money getting new clients. But are you in a pickle if you aim to solve their problem completely so they don't come back? I love when people don't come back. Yeah. Like when they don't come back, they go tell a hundred people about you. <laughs> yes. So, okay. If you're in a problem solving business, you want to solve their problems. If you're in a business that is uh, where, where repurchase is uh, the driver of your revenue, then you want to satisfy their needs. Okay, so let's give it like an example. If you own a gas station and and people are always gonna need gas, so even if they fill up, you know, you haven't solved their problem, you've just satisfied their needs. So when they need gas again, are they gonna go to your gas station? Well, that depends on how you treat them. And it depends on what you offer them. But if you have, you know, and if you do, and if you do a good job, then they, they'll, they'll likely come back to your gas station. If you're in a problem solving type of business, then my suggestion is solve the problem. And that's going to be your best form of, you know, lead generation. Because let me slide back over here. It's a great question, especially if you're in like healthcare, right? If you're in, if you're in some type of health you know, don't let me get into this whole thing about the money's in the medicine thing, because because it is. I mean, you know, but I'm not going to get into all that. But if you're in healthcare and your job is to fix somebody, then yes, absolutely fix them because that because you fix them, their problem is solved. And now you go into a relationship management cycle where you can continue to deliver them value, even though you've already fixed them. And then you nurture that relationship into uh, prompting them for referrals. Because let's use that example. If they're playing tennis, no, no, no they hurt their elbow playing tennis, something like that. Well, it, chances are just, just that fact alone, they play tennis with other people. You need at least one other person. I know that, right? I don't know much about tennis, but I know you need to, So at least one other person, if not more, that they know that they play tennis with. And just knowing that there's an actual thing called tennis elbow, right? You start putting these pieces together and you can start to say, okay, well, if one person's elbow hurts and I can fix that person, well, they're very likely gonna be communicating that to the rest of their tennis players. Hey guys, if you guys ever hurt your elbow, I have this, the person who's gonna solve your problem. So if you're in a solving problem, problem solving business then absolutely solve those problems if you're in a if you're in a needs fulfilling needs business then you fulfill those needs and you do it in a way that's different than everybody else so that way the your customer is incentivized to want to come back to you repeatedly but that's a fantastic question and hopefully that's that was a great ex explanation um sweet yeah um i agree um, so what else? So, so, okay. So someone jumped in, Andy jumped in to answer that question. 
And he said, also sell consumables like toothpaste. Um, but he's joking, like me, he means you can also do a product line. So we're talking about Juan here, who's a, who's a uh, what is it, physical therapist? Juan does medical massage. Medical massage. So Juan is in a problem solving business, hands on massage, um, treating people to fix them, right? right? So what Andy's saying is he can increase his top line revenue by also offering other types of things to them, like yeah. a cream or toothpaste or whatever. Right. Um, yeah, I, I think that that's not a bad idea. Yeah, but it's not if the you, like, main main question. Like, it's how. Like that, that's an accessory. Like, yeah, it's a way to make an extra few bucks or whatever. If but you want to get into commerce and products and that's supply, a, it might and, be a different conversation. Yeah, I, I mean, I, Andy, I don't think that that's a bad idea. Yeah, no, I agree. Um, because even with my, like, I do service, and then I do have some products. You know, they're products, tools, worksheets, kind of things where you can DIY stuff and you don't have to hire me uh, to do any of this stuff for you. So I do have products as well, but not in the way of, you know, having a shelf stock yeah. product products products stress me out just because i'm not good with numbers and you got to like track shit and i just i've never i just shied away from it it's always just provided the service yeah and <laughs> when we're to, what we're talking about here is really not just increasing top line but but increasing your your lead generation machine because even if he sold if he had that one client and his only answer was let me sell them a hundred weeks worth of Tiger Bomb. You know that's not really gonna <laughs> that's not really gonna fill his cup and you know keep his funnel going and keep his 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 uh his his clients or or keep keep regenerating business right. Yeah. Um. So yes, that's a good accessory. It's a good it's a good compliment because it's aligned with the service. But what we really want to do here is make sure you solve that person's problem and then nurture that relationship so that they're incentivized and they're aware that you even want more clients. Yeah. I mean, they don't know, they don't know. They don't know it took them a week to get in to see you. They might think you're booked solid and who knows. You know what I mean? So you so they don't know and and it's not front of mind. And I I'll, I'll get into more. I'll talk especially fitness people like Juan, if you're if, Come next, come on Wednesday, and we're gonna get into this because I'm gonna talk about the the what I have like this little value seesaw between your um your cust the, the customer and your business. Oh. and it's about a value seesaw. Yeah. Ooh, I like that. I yeah. like seesaws. Yeah, I just made that up right now. Well, not oh. the not the not the philosophy, right? <laughs> not, not like right. like, but I, I I didn't I never called it a seesaw. My the diagram is a seesaw. But I just I I don't know now I call it what did, what did I call it value A value seesaw value seesaw yeah I like that value seesaw we'll see we'll see if we'll roll with that hopefully we have a a way to remember that later on what was the name oh yeah yeah we'll look it's back live. on the, we'll look back live. on the video yeah I appreciate those questions um yeah but uh yeah like Andy also came back and said like put your branded label on it give it away like as a marketing material too oh yeah Andy's just dropping knowledge huh Andy knows some things yeah. You guys don't know Andy. He, uh, you have any real estate questions? Like, man is like a genius when it comes to that stuff. He knows all the, all the right things to know in this area. He's been around, got a lot of experience. Super cool dude. So, hit up uh, Andy for any real estate questions. He's always happy to just answer questions too about about real estate. He loves talking about it. But um, yeah, absolutely, Andy. Thanks for your contributions here. It's definitely helpful. I like the idea of swag. Swag bags, you know, take some things. Yeah, some things. It's it's a it's a you know, it's it's marketing and promotion, right? Mm -hmm. So it all has to fall under what makes most sense with your with your budget. Like if my choice, I try to I try to make things as binary as possible to make solutions appear more logical or you know appear easier. They arise to the top more when I can try to trim some fat on some of the other stuff, right? So what I would do right here is just say, okay, 
if I'm going to spend money on swag, am I going to give those to my customers? And is that the thing that's going to get them to refer me? Maybe, maybe not. Maybe them wearing it around town is something that's going to get them to, to refer me because that's ultimately what we're talking about here. You want to make sure that you maintain long-term good relationships with your customers. One, because it's just a good thing to do, right? But then two, if we're talking strictly from a lens of business, that is where your lowest cost acquisition is going to come from with obviously your highest ROI. Um, lowest cost, lowest friction, and your highest potential because the trust is already built in through the referral. So if you have a hundred dollars, is you know what are you going to do with that hundred dollars? I don't know. Maybe I mean, just buy your client a T-shirt. <laughs> yeah, yeah, could be, could be. The swag is a really good idea. I mean, I, you know, when I say things like this, people are like, "Yeah, but look, they have they these guys do swag all the time, and look at how much revenue they have." It's like that's not the correlation. That's not. It doesn't. It's not just yeah. because I have a bunch of keychains. That's why I have business. Yeah. It's one component in many, 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 a, a, a huge, a vast array of things that you need to do to have a productive business. And what I, when I talk about this, the only thing that I'm against is paid ads for small businesses because I just don't like it. I, I don't think it works for them. Um, so, I think. I think paid ads have a time and a place and it's way down the line. So just to segue or just kind of jump in real quick. So paid ads, like uh, I, I think you told me this a while back, like or somebody told me this um, paid ads are great for when you're expanding into a new market where you don't have any customers that are, will talk about you. You're brand new. You just need to let like just carpet bomb the area. Like, Hey, here's what we do. Here's who we are. We're coming to the area. And that's when you'd spend money on, on paid advertising. That's one, that's one way. Yeah. I mean, if you're brand new and nobody knows anything about you and I guess different business yeah. models and so on, you know, you, you can try to flood the market with ads. So when you first start, maybe before you were having customers. Yeah. I mean, or would you find a way to, what would you do in that case to save money? If you're starting out new yep. and you have no customers. Yep. And so we're talking about like, treat your customers great. They're going to refer you people, but you don't have any. So would I want to spend money on ads then, nope. or would you have another option for that? Well, you can. So, you know, even just sitting here on I Love St. Pete, we've had people coming in and watching and commenting and, and as many people as come through this page every day, there's hundreds of different businesses in dozens of different industries. And people that are entering these businesses are entering with each their own unique set of experiences, their own, their own source of capital or, or lack thereof. Um, their their relationships or lack thereof, you know, the family opportunity, you know, well, that's relationships, really. Um, some people just moved here yesterday and, and started a business. Some people bought a building. They moved down from Vermont and started a dog, a dog care, doggy care business before they ever even stepped foot in St. Pete. I mean, I don't know. It's so it's hard to really generalize and talk in, in that and say, this is the way to do it because right. there's a hundred ways to do it. And that's where the strategy really comes into play. That's when you need to align your perspective with what's best for you and your business based on your mission, your values, your ideal clients, you know, how you want to go, how you want to go to market and what your resources are. If you're sitting there with a million dollars in, in marketing budget, then yeah, you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna pay some ads, yeah. right? You're gonna get you're gonna spend on ads because it makes sense for you. All right, but you have like very little to no money for advertisement, and you have no customers. Yep. What do you do then? Do it for free. What are you doing for free? Whatever it is that you do, whatever it is that you want to sell, do it for free. Do for it for free. Do it. Find somebody. If you go, there's a lot of free events around here. Um, there's chamber events. I belong to the uh, Treasure Island Chamber, Treasure Island Madera Beach Chamber. There, we were at an event just yesterday with seven other local chambers. There were, I think, St. Pete. Um, I, I don't remember all the, the, I'm not the organizer there, which I, but I was there. There's a lot of people. It was at Cowboys, by the way, which is awesome. I've never been there before. What's Cowboys? Yeah. So it's like a gigantic country Western bar. It's huge. They have the dance floor. They do all the line dancing and everything. 
So I don't know if you guys have ever been up there. It's on like 123rd and 66th. We were there yesterday with the Treasure Island, with the, all the chambers, really. Um, and it was a hospitality form, some, but it was, it was awesome. But anyway, back to the question. There's free events around here. So whatever your, your service is, Service X, you go to a free event, you start making friends, you start telling people what you do, and you offer to do it for free. You do it for free, you do a good job, and you do it with the expectation that they're going to give you a testimonial, referral, something like that, uh, or a review, something like that, if you're able to satisfy their needs or solve their problem, right? So if you're able to do one of those things, now you have a client who is ready to speak on your behalf by way of testimonial or review. You do that three, four, five, six times or whatever's suitable for you. And pretty soon you're going to be able to start charging for that service. So if you have, and I mean, if you have like zero dollars, if you have zero dollars, you have time, you have, you, you have to have some, you got to have time. You got to have money. At this place, in this time, at this period, you, you don't have any money. So you have time. That's all you can. That's do. what we're working with you, in this scenario. And time is, I mean, we know the value of time. Yeah. I mean. A lot of people spend a lot of money to get time back. So you're flipping around. You need to put that time in and you're going to. Exactly. You put the time in, you solve their problem or you satisfy their need. And, and you do that in exchange for testimonial or refer or a review. And then you build essentially a portfolio, a book of business or whatever it is that you're doing. And now you have something where you can start pitching and start trying to charge for it. So what is your, what is your service? Um, you're, you're a photographer, okay? So you go out to one of these events, you just ask if it's okay if you take pictures, you, you take some pictures, and then you, you start giving out people, uh, you get their emails because you're gonna send them their pictures, so now you're building a mailing list, you start sending them out their, uh, their photos, and now you can market to them through your mailing list, or you can at, at the very least use that to ask them for their testimonials, or, even beyond that, you can ask them, hey, do you know if you like these photos and if you enjoyed me and what I was doing at the event, so you know, do you know anyone else that hosts events like that? That type of thing. And that's how you start building your referral machine and you start charging for what you were doing for free. But you, if you have nothing, you have to get a book first. You have to get a portfolio. And the only way to do that is for free. But you have to, you can't, you, you have to have the, you have to swallow your ego, which we all have, mine, we all have. Um, you have to be able to swallow that ego, be humble enough to say, I'm entering a new market, whether it's a new city, whether it's a new venture, whether it's, you know, whatever it is, um, I'm entering something new. So I have to pay my dues there because I'm not coming into it where I'm able to flood the market with, you know, $20,000 worth of ads. So I got to go in, I got to put in the time and I got to intelligently create and nurture relationships. So that way I can build a sales team, essentially, who's going to promote my business for me. They have to be prompted and they have to be nurtured. Then they're going to promote my business for me. And then I can start charging. And now you have a business. Drop it, bro. <laughs> Drop it. <laughs> yeah, so you too can start a business with if you if you're a service business and <laughs> uh, you can start with no money right yeah i don't do products so yeah. i'm not the person to talk to about products i'm sure there's product uh, design people and product strategist people here who can jump in and, and crush it but i'm not the one hmm. makes sense yeah that's a whole different it's a whole different ball game it is and uh yeah stick with stick with what you're you know <laughs> what you excel at and not not learning a, a product Ugh. hey so so let me ask you then it's friday afternoon anyone that's watching this is probably working all week on whatever they're working on and now they're kicking back for the night um what can they do that's not going to be destructive to whatever progress they made during the week let's say health wise fitness wise so let's flip out of business for a minute and we're going to flip this oh, camera back over to this side. Specialization. Yeah. So now I want to know, after I've been working all week long and going to the gym and doing all the things, it's Friday night. It's the second, fourth, maybe people just got paid. Maybe, I think. 
and they're going to go out and blow their money on food, junk food, drinking beers, watching the games, whatever it is, or hanging with the girls and doing doing paddle rides down Central or whatever they're doing. How do we make sure that we don't get derailed on Friday afternoon through the weekend so we don't crush all the progress we made during the week? Just keep moving. I mean, I think a lot of times people just change their state, whether it's from the weekdays to the weekend or back from the weekend into the weekdays, where they go from like maybe on the weekends, it's their only time to go all over the place, run, jump around, work out, you know, get, get shit done. Um, and then on the weekdays, then they have to go back to more sedentary if they have a, a sedentary job, which a, a majority of Americans probably have sitting jobs more than standing jobs. I don't know at this point what mm-hmm. the ratio is, but I'm sure it's pretty high. A lot of us are have been sitting behind desks doing our jobs for the last few years, sitting in our, in our man cave, in our office at home because of COVID. Um, so we're really good at, at, at being still for long periods of time. Yeah. So if that goes from being still for long periods of time to all of a sudden moving your body a lot, um, that's probably it's a sharp shift in your your rhythm, your routine. A lot a lot of things change when you do that. So um, maybe transition into that that from the weekend to the weekday and vice versa, like smoother by integrating more what you want to do like on the weekend into your weekdays um, so that like maybe you're walking a little further each day during the weekdays, maybe standing a little bit more, being more, adding more movement into your weekday so that when the weekend comes and you want to be active and moving again, it's a safer like transition from sedentary to go, 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 go. Um, that's do just, you, do you think that m- more often now you don't, do you don't do like personal training in that way, right? You do specialize kind of stuff or do you do like I, if someone's like hey I want to lose 30 pounds I like can eight did they come to you or did, or is that I, you do? that I I can it's it's all day long easy to do for me um, to teach somebody how to do that but that's not like who I work with I have lots of great uh, businesses personal trainers that rent space for me that are that's their thing um, like Lexi she's did her internship with me and now she's um we just got what helped her through the process of becoming her own business owner and nice. and she is now has her own LLC and she's got her own business here and and she loves that. We have um, this 3D Staiku scan thing where you do the, the 3D body analysis. So Lexi gets them on there and then shows them here you are and then gets them on there a few months later and here you are and then you just see all the all the changes. It's really cool to watch. So so but you're I, saying I on next tangent. Friday we have to bring this camera to do my 3D. Yeah, let's do it. Awful body scan. But, <laughs> but do I work with uh, with weight loss? I have and I and I, it's pretty easy. If it's really easy if your client does what you ask them to do. Yeah. It, it works a hundred percent of the time when you when you welcome yeah. to the consulting <laughs> world too. Right? Like it's exactly like. I can only do so much. There's the planning and then there's the execution. And then, you know, you can, you can set up everything, but if they don't follow through and same thing as a personal trainer, you only have them for so many hours out of the week. So you can set it up. But, but so the question is the actual question that I was getting to that was, do you notice that more people are healthy fitness conscious during the week when they have their regimen of, nine to five so they get up and they go to the gym in the morning and then they have a healthy lunch and then they're so you reasonable. Think they throw it all away on the weekends that's what i'm asking what do you what have you seen or because the way that you answered the question was that people were doing nothing all week and then they would go do a race or do something big, yeah, you know point, on the weekend point, yep. so i'm wondering if it's what which do you so here's the thing here, here's and i'm enough, talking normal your normal average person who's who's out here. an hour in the gym on a monday night does absolutely nothing for you in the long term like it's it's very meaningless it's, uh two or three hours of standing and walking around on a monday are a lot more effective like for your longevity like it's when you stop moving just your body literally is triggered to just go into fat storage mode just Let's let's get ready for the winter. Your body is preparing for winter. Anytime you just decide to sit still, because when you're surviving in nature, like you sit still in the winter time to save calories, so that when spring comes, you'll be survived and get out there and start hunting and you know gathering and building. That's how our bodies are wired. So integrating more movement into your Mondays through Fridays, like even if it means not going to the gym that day, but maybe going like 
just trying to find a way to in, in, engage more muscles for a longer period of time. It doesn't have to be like super strenuous. Most of the centenarians that live all over the world live to, to 100 because they just, they integrate movement into their lives. Mm. Like every like 90 plus year old Japanese lady on, um, on, um, on the South Island, what's the South Island where the blue Okinawa? zone? Okinawa, yeah. Um, they all like tend their gardens for two hours a day. They're bending and moving and bending and moving. Uh, and it's the it's the people that that sit still that just that decline physically, cognitively, everything. Get up here, start moving. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. So I just is there like a a, a a magic program that works for everybody? Just like you said, a business has all kinds of variables. Yeah. Your body has an infinite amount of variables. But the one the one consistent thing is movement. I know it's like, it's cliche at this point. It's like, let's fucking move. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but it seems but cliche, it, but like some things seem obvious. Like you would think taking care of your customers is obvious, but it's not yeah. so obvious. Ooh. Or at least you would there. Right? At least people, <laughs> people aren't, aren't doing it. Um, so, so some fitness tips for the weekend and going forward until we see you again next Friday is just move more, right? Yeah, like, like just get up and move. Why I are you would, even watching us here? I feel, well, I, I, I feel. Put it on your phone and go for a walk. Or walk. I went out for next Friday. I want everyone coming in, texting in from their from their walk around St. Pete. I ran on the beach yesterday, and I'm looking at all these people just sitting there, and they don't look healthy. They look very pale, meaning they're probably living out in the Midwest and here on vacation. I get that, but those are it's it's that whole mentality of like I'm on vacation and I'm just gonna go sit. It's like it's an American mentality that is just killing us. Like I. They need to be, I'm sure they just got back from a walk. I'm not mean to be judging them for sitting on their beach on their vacation. I, I appreciate that. They're ch they want to chill. But at the same time, like, whenever I go on vacation and there's a beach involved, I don't really sit. I guide, I'm exploring. I'm walking. I'm in the ocean. I'm walking up to somewhere. Just walking around. Like, sitting there, I just, that, that's this. We don't need to just sit there. Sitting there doing nothing, watching TV, watching the sunset on the beach. Sitting is sitting. <laughs> it's a lack of movement. And we do it too much. Even our vacations are wrapped around sitting. Yeah. It's crazy. And I know it's like everybody's like, oh, it's, 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 a, it's a trend. It's fad. It's smoke. Sitting is a new smoking. But it's not just sitting. It's say, sedentarianism is the new. Sedentarianism. That would we be. need someone on that side to do to put that across the screen. Yeah, spell that right fast. <laughs> Sedentin I can't even say Sedentarianism. It. Is that a thing? Hmm, maybe. I like to make up words. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, come on. You only live once. Why can't you make up a word or two here and there? Yeah. Hey, so we've been rocking for almost an hour. Uh, we get on here at 5 o'clock on Friday. This is our third Friday. And we're only in the I Love St. Pete group because we love St. Pete. And shout out to Stan for having us here on Fridays, allowing us to do this. Really, uh, just to reset the room a little bit, what we do, what, what our intention behind sitting here on Friday afternoon is to help you guys, um, most specifically with business, because we're, we're, you know, if you don't know, Chris is the host of Entrepreneur Social Club, which meets every Thursday night it's at fun. Nova um, on MLK. Is that yeah, MLK? Fifth Ave and MLK right there. Fifth and MLK, and he's the host. He runs that whole meetup um every thursday night which is a which is a cool thing if business owners if you want to check that out that's I, I had somebody last night this was sorry i had to take a moment um we go to dinner after the social club every yeah. thursday and this guy was um had just showed up to his first event uh, our first thursday night uh social club meeting and we get a lot of new members every week and um then we go out to dinner at the end of the night and some of the most of the members will come out and have dinner um this gentleman had dinner with us and um he said chris like i've hosted like networking groups i've been to thousands of different networking groups this was the best one i've ever been to nice i was like i got all warm and fuzzy i was like really that is awesome so shout out to michael novilla for setting up the starting this entrepreneur social club and, and yeah, how long has that been running now 14 years 14 years and then a, a year and a half ago he's like i'm going to go travel around the world do you want to host i was like yeah, but for how long? You leave for long periods of time. <laughs> so I'm kind of now the host. You've been hosting it now, what? Almost two years? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Actually, Mike's back. He's like, oh, you just keep doing You just keep doing it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, sorry. Sidebar. Yeah, no, it's all good. That, so that's, uh, 
just really what we're doing here. We just like to talk about business and you know, I've, I'm an investor. I have a couple of different businesses and Chris has his business here. He just kind of went through a massive rebrand and which we can talk about too. Um, yeah, just a little, a little left, a little right. Um, so he just went through a massive rebrand and what we're really doing here is not to talk about us or the things that we're doing. We're here to introduce you guys to some stuff that's going on around St. Pete, especially for business owners. And uh, we're here to answer your questions, or at least to the best of our ability, or at the very least have fun answering them incorrectly or so. I don't know. And if we don't know the best effort, if we don't know the answer, we definitely know somebody who does. Yeah. So I, I will uh, be like... Yeah, sorry, I don't know that one. Like we, when we talk about product, I don't know product, but someone does know product and they want to come on here and, and talk about it. You know, I'm open to that so we can, uh, actually I'd, I'd invite that. So if you know product and you know strategy, you know marketing, you know pricing for product, there are a lot of people in this town that sell a lot of products and I'm sure that they can use some help too. So um, yeah, yeah someone, someone who knows product, come on here with us on a Friday. Now with our new layout, we and can let's talk. Yeah, we got middle. space. Just like slide around, get a little wide angle. We got, lens. we got so many angles. All of them. Do you show? Hit, hit, can, do you have the thing to do the angles? Oh, I think one. We've been. You guys have been looking at us in one in one frame this whole time. No, we were looking. We got like solid production view here and or production capabilities. Chris's keypad. Oh, that's your screen. Make sure you don't have nothing. I know. know. It's just like, uh, what, what do I got on here? What are we scrolling on? Oh, we're scrolling on I Love St. Pete. There we go. I right? shut down my OnlyFans page, so. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Yeah, you know what? Or so am I? <laughs> we're at an hour, but I'm going to hang for a minute because I want to. I just want to scroll down I Love St. Pete and just shout out um, some people that we're seeing here. So um, let's see. Where are you at? Let me, let me keep up with you so our audience can see what you're seeing. Oh, yeah. So I just refreshed the page. So I, I, you know what? That's an interesting thing. I wonder if we have the same feed. Well, let's see. Why don't you refresh right now? Refresh right now. All right. Spa Casa? Spa Casa? No. Oh, no. ooh. It's are you on new posts? Let's see. Let's see how this page is running. Scroll up and see if you have new or if you have like custom or something. Nope. Go down a little bit. Oh, new post. Yeah, you do have new posts. All right. All right. Well, then you do it then, because then they're gonna they're gonna look at oh. your screen. Okay, so I have the new post. You don't. I do, but it's a different. It's showing me something different. See, that's an hour ago, and this is showing me Java Cava Cafe. I'll refresh. Which is um, yeah, I'm still I'm still it's not refreshing. Maybe because we're stream. Oh, maybe because it's streaming online. No, this is a different uh, computer. Oh, that's not it. I don't know, man. That's weird. We're getting. All right, we'll cool. scroll down to who who posted an hour ago. So I'm getting. Note that they can't post messages on the feed. Did you maybe, are you stalled? Are we still live? Can you still hear us, the person that texted me? Um, I'm wondering if we're still live. Yeah. I mean, it says it's streaming and I haven't changed anything on the... <gasps> Did I? Technical difficulties. Oh, good thing it's after six. <laughs> Let's see. Let's... Uh... Oh, okay. We are still live. But it, do, it doesn't... That's weird. Maybe... Because I lost it in the window here. We're, we're, so we're figuring this out as we go, people. All right. So let's... Anyone, look, hey, so we, have any, we have any, like, podcast or video people that want to come in that want to... Besides Chris? Because if you're going to sit on this side of the table, <laughs> oh, I'll yeah. put the call out right now. Do we have any, we have any like, eight audiovisual people that want to come in and sit on that side and, uh, and help support, you know, what we're doing here, trying to give away as much information as we can to we the, need, I Love St. Pete. We need a Jamie. If anybody watches Joe or Rogan, Joe Rogan, they know who yeah. Jamie is. Or, yeah, that would be great. <laughs> so anyone that's watching this that, that knows audio, video, and you want to come and do this with us on Friday afternoons, we'd love to have you. Um, shoot a message to myself or Chris here on, on the I Love St. Or through, you can find us through the I Love St. Pete page, Brian or Chris Tolosano. Uh, yeah, because the pages are looking different. Yeah, and I can't find our live stream anymore on my end. Me neither. But but I'm I'm hearing from good sources that we're still live. So like this your, is, your your watch tells you that. No, so people are texting. James, me. That's some James Bond shit right there, bro. People, what else does that watch do? People you're gonna are tell me like takes your like heart. Rate oh wait, or something. okay, here we go. I got the feed. Oh, I was looking. Yeah, okay, cool. We're all still. right, so you're so, all right, so you're live. We're live. Okay, cool. Oh, here's a whole chat box. You saw this? Yeah, we got. Yeah, I think we covered all this. Okay. Okay, cool. All right. Cool, we're on. All right, so scroll. All right, so we'll go back to... Uh, 
Yeah. All right. So what are we looking at here? Let's see. Let's just sh let's just shout out who's who's on um, I Love St. Pete today. Cody Burletch. Why, Why should, should you try, try recovery spot massage? Here are a few reasons. All right, Cody. Let's find out why what a recovery spot massage is and why we need to know about it so we'll just keep keep uh keep going now 63 five star reviews nice go to let's see what else is on the um what do you uh, okay you got a lot of stuff here it's a lot cool. of a lot of words it's a lot of words so throw that all into chat gpt and say <laughs> hey clean this up and then it'll people will be able to read it and get the, the point of it so they don't have to read all that stuff. It's great you have it, um, but it's it's a lot. Um, yeah, but I'm I'm curious about it. I'm curious about the spot massage part. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So what I and what maybe we're not. I'm not here. I'm not trying to get on anyone's ads, guys. I'm just giving you. I'm just looking at it from my perspective. I was very curious about the the hook there, um, but then there's too much information. Yeah, like for what's what in, in the thing? Because I was already like, oh, let's find out more, but. I don't know. But I think Cody, good, good job on getting that all out there. It's dope. And I mean, listen, I don't mean to do this. Believe me, I'm no one to, to judge anyone's things and I'm certainly not. I'm, I'm just kind of seeing who's on the page. So yeah, let's do less of that and just do more of like, okay, who's on the page. Gotcha. The Cosmo Italian market. Oh, that looks good. What is that? Like a whole row of chicken parm? Yeah. I'm hungry now. Oh, the Cosmo. You might, hey, who, who's over at the Cosmos? You guys want to cater next week? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we need a cater for the master class. We can have some food. I would be all, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if that fits into health and wellness, whatever, uh, but it fits that, into that's delicious. A thing. That's what I said. If you move more, you can eat that. All right, good. I got to move. I'm going to get up and do some laps so we can have some of that the Cosmo <laughs> chicken parm here next week. What's love and fire? I don't know, but it's happening on September 29th, which is tonight. What's the mar? I don't know. I want to see what the Mar is. Ooh, this is cool. I like the colors. That looks interesting. I like the M logo. Like right I'm gonna here. scooch a little bit so I'm not leaning so heavy. You mind? Not at you all. get in for the real thing? I put some deodorant on, so Me too. Oh. All right. All right. So the Mar is um what is it? Perform it's a performing arts page. Is it okay? Well, let's look at their photos. Can you I'm getting that the post oh cool they got like they're doing an improv oh improv stuff. and stuff that's cool that's super fun so i'm getting more messages like now that the posts the people can't comment in the post um all right i'm gonna go back all right so that was the mar love and fire improv 929 cool stuff mobile massage therapist for multiple lymphatic massages located in saint pete tia what's tia tia uh, I don't know. That might be a Gen Z thing. Mm, TIA. TIA. God, maybe we're just old. Yeah, <laughs> that is not. It's not a maybe. Um, <laughs> jump in with uh, if you know what TIA is. All right, what else we got? We got Home Remedy Fitness. I know this gentleman. He's a he's a great trainer. Man, he knows his shit. Yeah. Yeah. Age is a mindset. See that? Is that timing? We were just talking about how old we are. Alexander, is that his name? Did he retarget us from the from scrolling from mm -hmm. four seconds ago? <laughs> now this is James. Oh, what's this? Ain't the late Alexander Dome. Oh. Oh, that's that's telling his story. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. But he does, yeah, he does, he usually puts out workout programs on here. He's, he's got some great programs. Oops, oh, wrong cool. button. Um, shout out to James Nelson. The man. Great personal trainer. International hair designs dropping a PSA. <sighs> that's a little too much with the water. That's that's hard to read. It looks cool. I mean, it's like I like the idea. Yeah. Shampoo your hair with shampoo your hair with bottom water. Right? I'll strip your hair. Do the filter. I like what you're doing there. Um remember we talked about Canva a little earlier. Uh, yeah, but it looks you know, there's an engagement thing that happens here too, which we we don't I don't know, we don't have time to get into today. But with regards to how people are perceiving, um, what you're posting, yeah, and it's uh, it's a little challenging because I see a lot of posts with like no 
in engagement. Yeah, no zero. likes, no comments. Um, but that's because there's a lot of there's a there's a lot of posts going up. Yeah, and that's you know that's the good and bad thing about it. I, I I love the page, but it's like really cheap. It's two hundred bucks for the year, and you get to do three posts a day, which is great because like that's the like. That's so the how do you thing. stand out? How do you stand out? How do you stand out? <laughs> that's a great question because as we're saying here, there's a you know if I can do three posts. 160,000 members. I don't know what percentage of them actually pay for the advertising. I'm sure maybe quite a few thousand do. Interesting. Um, so that's thousands, a few, few thousands times three a day. You got to find a way to stand out. That's it. Yeah. Because the money's going for a good cause, right? The money's mm -hmm. for the for yeah. the fund. Um, so keep buying. Yeah, but your membership and uh, keep posting and then you just got to yeah it's perfect and you just got to differentiate yourself um so ashley is looking like doing for, live streams on on their page <laughs> maybe something <laughs> like that. ashley is looking for uh somebody who specializes in haircuts for special needs autistic with sensory issues so Anybody who's doing haircuts, make sure you check out Ashley. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna screw this name up, but you can see it on the screen. Ooh, it's right say, there. You you say damn thong mimba, damn thong me van. I'm not sure. Damn thong me van. But all my cool salon name. people out there, haircutters, um, someone get in touch with Ashley and let's let's help her out. Let's yeah, get for that sure. thing done. Heck yeah. I um, had no idea what this meant. I saw this earlier. Vermiculite insulation tested. So is that ver vermin? No. What, what is vermiculite? That's what you mix in your soil to make the soil absorb water. Like I think insulate. I don't know. I have anything idea. Wasn't well, apparently nobody else does either. Can or you, this um, is just one of those. Stephanie, things can, can you clarify what the heck that means so we can put you with the right person? <laughs> yeah, it seems like she knows what it is. I don't have any idea what it is. I wonder if uh, Andrew Swan knows about that. That man knows a lot about a lot of things. Yeah. And he does. He's always just dropping knowledge. He's got his hands in the dirt. That's for <laughs> sure. Um, Andrew, if you see this. Yeah. I don't oh, know we might I, be frozen. I don't think Andrew's on. Are uh, we frozen? We're no. still figuring this out. No, nah, he just, might just be on there. Is this is still live streaming? Jessica, what are you putting up there? Musical bingo. Is that some fish and chips? Oh. Three dollars. Free family friend family friendly. Whoa. Free family friendly. Music bi music bingo. And seven dollar fish and chips. Oh, that's a good deal. Oh yeah. Where's that at? Uh I don't know. Jessica, where's your Is that down? what it says? Cool vibes? Is that it? Oh, uh -huh. that's that's a good find. I'm going to have to really look for that one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there oh, it is. There it is. It's, it's scrolling out. It's scrolling up. <laughs> See, 90% of the time, we're the dope in all of this. We're not, <laughs> believe me, we're not critiquing anybody at all. This is just, you know, two dopes scrolling down, trying to bring uh, some awareness to people's businesses and help people where we can. I've been posting broke ass shit for years, bro. So my, yeah, and my stuff's still broken, believe my, me. I'm so no social broken. media. Oh, yeah. I know a few, but I'm not the social media guy. Um, I've just been on it for a very, very, very long time. So I've, I've ridden some waves, but I'm getting, uh, I'm getting. I it's just your internet. Bad. It's, a, it's your, um, your fruit computer. Oh, the apple. Too many uh, cores in there. And seeds. <laughs> Deco salon and spa. He's just like the wizard over here you got. That's a nice video. It's like it's, like it's almost like, like I've done this before. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost like I've been able to you manage. Are, <laughs> he is to, literally DJing computers right now. It's, it's almost true. like I've done that before. <laughs> Golf to Bay Massage looks like Ooh, who, they got some stuff I, going on. I think I meant to send them an invite to our Facebook community. Yeah, they got a couple posts happening. I like the pictures. Um... Yeah, my, I can't seem... So I'm trying to stay live on the video and track the video, but I can't seem to know if we're live. Oh, there it is. Yes? No? Well, that's going to be delayed because... Right, this, this but I just... As long as it's moving. It wasn't moving, so okay. I just want to make sure that... Yeah, it's gone. It looks okay, cool. So then I can yeah, see right the, there. We're good. the comments and stuff. Okay, cool. 
All right, we'll hang for a few more minutes and bother you guys, whoever wants to stay on and stay watching and stay commenting. Um, yeah, you guys are all scrolling. Recommendation to resurface my pool. Oh, man, there was somebody at that Cowboys thing yesterday that was talking about pool resurfacing, but I don't know. I wasn't... It, See, but this is why you put it out there because that was never I don't have a pool wasn't a part of my thing and you know that that bit of awareness came to me yesterday about resurfacing pools and here's the question and that's why you got to stay front of mind with people and you got to do that with your customers and everyone really rascal's watering hole that guy's having fun that guy's having fun oh yeah he is just living his best life right there that sounds like such a fun place, Rascal's, Rascals. Watering Hole. If I, if I was drinking, I'd probably be there. It never gets old, bro, Taco Cat. I mean, how can how can Taco Cat ever get old? Taco Cat backwards is Taco Cat? Yeah. You didn't know that? I, Are you just now? Is this your... I is do your, now. You just popped your Taco Cat cherry? I know that wow. now. I know that now. Oh. Hey, so, so what we're doing now is we're just basically scrolling down the I Love St. Pete page, just giving shout outs and awareness to... Uh, what we see on our feed because there is a lot of posts that happen every day and there's some that that don't really get engagement so yes some of that has to do with copy some of it has to do with design some of it has to do with timing and some of it has to do with just you know the idea that there's a lot of uh, people you know uh, on the page so yeah right now uh, what we're doing here with you guys is we're we're here to answer business questions talk about business talk about marketing branding strategy Pricing strategy, um, go-to-market strategy. I sp I speak specifically for service businesses, but um, we're looking for a product person. Jump in with us at some point. But anyway, so if you have business questions, I think the thing is not there anymore. The words that say put your business questions in the chat. Oh, that's because we're not on that screen. Oh yeah, look at that. Well, please uh, please ask us your business questions. No, I guess I got to move it over. It's got to go on all the screens. Yeah, it does. All right, so <laughs> so uh, yeah, please ask us your business questions. We're still we're supposed to be from five to six, but we're hanging. We've had a bunch of good questions. We've had some good conversation, and um, I still got some black raspberry uh, club soda. The tequila's kicking in. Yeah, bro. on that side of the table. Just kidding. So from May, so or am I? <laughs> but uh, yeah, business questions. Hit us with hit us in the chat and make sure. If you do, if you are catching this at whatever point you catch it, we we start at five o'clock on Fridays, just to unwind the weekend. Um, yeah, a couple more minutes. Let's roll down. So I have a logo, some product branding that isn't quite right. Yeah, we were just talking about that. Um, contact Neo Graphic Design. Found your ideas. Let's discuss. No obligation. All right. Found your ideas. Does anyone happen to work at a car dealer? Everyone here needs to come to the Entrepreneur Social Club. I don't know any of y'all. I need to meet you. You should come out. Chris is the host of the Entrepreneur Social Club. They meet every Thursday at 6. six networking starts at 6 o'clock. The meeting's at 645 at Nova on 5th and MLK. So business owners around St. Pete, it's a phenomenal place to network. It's free. It's free. It's and fun. It's fun. It's and, laid back. And it's laid back. And everyone goes to dinner afterwards. Oh, we go to good restaurants too. And you get to meet a lot of other business owners in the uh, in the area. Next That's week, on Thursdays. Actually, I'm um, getting getting uh, catering sent to Nova next week. So actually, gonna just is it the chicken parm guy? <laughs> yeah, maybe. Sick we'll about that. Maybe I'll come. I don't get to make it out there every Thursday. I wish I could make it more. Well, that looks good. What is all that that they're throwing down on the grill? Some good cinematography, too. Friday night street food market starts Ooh. 5 to 10. Somebody's got a nice Is that camera. today? By 58th Ave North. What are you throwing out? Th is that what? Is that? That's tonight. Friday night street food market. Man. Oh. If I'd have known that, we'd have gone live. Oh. Straight from there. Let's just, that looks delicious. We can take, we can, we got, it's all mobile. Oh, look, every week from 5 to 9. That's every week. We're, we're gonna have our post podcast party. Yeah, we just leave here and go straight there every Friday. <laughs> Moving soon, movers with muscle. I see their posts a lot. These guys are gonna get out there. Yeah, flex on them, guys. Good wrap jobs on the furniture. I know you guys. You, you guys are hard workers, man. That is that is tough work. I appreciate every time I've had to move. Morgan does creative writing. We were just talking about copy. 
for some of these things. Um, so you need, uh, what did I do? Oh boy, you hit too many. You went there. Uh, I screwed it all up. <laughs> I was just about to shout out Morgan. I don't know what happened. Let's see if we, we were just back. talking about copywriting. Morgan, I don't. I didn't see the rest of the post. My bad. Yeah. But uh, yeah, if you, I saw resumes. So she does resumes. Maybe she writes ads too. Uh, we can do this again, but no, I think we're good. I think we're good. Yeah. So um, let's let's uh, land the plane here. If you're on any social media, very specifically Twitter X, um, my handle is the Brian Orr, and you can probably find me all around St. Pete at some point or another. Um, also, uh, the Brian Orr at Instagram and what what else is there? Facebook. What else is there? LinkedIn. If you, if you can't find this man on the internet. You you, can, you can probably find me on the internet <laughs> some way, well, some way or another. In one form or another, you could probably find me on the internet or something if you're looking for me. Just uh, just give me a holler. And my website is onehappyclient.com, spelled just like that. And Brian's going to be talking at our masterclass next week here at Best Day Fitness. Uh, Best Day Fitness is my baby, um, and I just started a uh, fitness and wellness entrepreneur mastermind community on facebook and, and all- i thought free friday something was hard to say yeah i know that was a that was a lot fitness mastermind community hey, but you know what group it's the only one in this area how many people uh we have 79 79 fitness and wellness professionals and we start i started the page a week and a half ago so um, you're sitting at about eight memberships a day yeah, and it's been very not memberships, uh, um, member or uh, members. Yeah, yeah. yeah, they're just jumping in a group. Yeah, it's just all the, the community is all about supporting each other. Um, it's not like about promoting your business. It's about promoting the business owners and how can we help each other get the support we need. How can we help each other? Um, just ri- like rise together. There's way too much competition in this industry, and I just. We had an, we had one of our events the other night. And we had a chiropractor, a physical therapist, myself, and a massage therapist. We're all talking, and we are all on the same page. We're like, humans can heal in lots and lots of different ways, mm-hmm. um, and the, there's so many different amazing therapists and clinicians and doctors out there and specialists that help a human to feel heal but heal and feel better and go and live their best life. That could be through chiropractic or PT or massage or whatever. Or but, combination. Yeah, or exactly. And a combination. That's that's a whole different conversation um, because collaborating with a team of med- or a fitness and wellness professionals, that they're all collaborating for that one person. That, it's like the Tom Brady plan, bro. You get everything. Yeah. Um, you, you got, got your whole team. Um, so, so, yeah, I just want to build this community up. I mean, a rising tide lifts all ships. Uh, we can all... The, the more we help each other, there's more than enough customers for all of us. And hopefully all of us can work with the same customers, which is even, even, even more better. Fun. Yeah, even better. So, yeah, that's what uh, that's what we're doing um, with our community. Um, so please, uh, if you want to join, um, head over there. I'll put a link uh, in, a, in the comments below. Uh, but other than that, that's what I do. And uh, yeah, so that's the meeting every Wednesday night in one form or another. Thursday nights, Entrepreneur Social Club. Friday night at five o'clock. You're hitting us right here on I Love St. Pete streaming every week. And oh, we also have uh, Marcus and Tuesday night. Does the Growth Collective on yeah, Tuesday night. Yeah, so our, our third member who's who was here for week one, maybe he'll come back. I don't know. He's a busy for, guy. For all of you that uh, have been with us all three weeks, uh, the guy in the first episode, that was our pilot, and uh, he didn't he didn't rate well. <laughs> <laughs> so we got rid of him. <laughs> he'll, be, he'll be back. He'll probably be back. That's, that's Marcus McGee, and he's the AI guy around town. And he'll be with us on Fridays too. And then he runs a meeting Tuesday night. It's a men's meeting only. Um, you know, there's some, say there's some women's groups in town and there's a few, not many men's groups in towns. And he runs that Tuesday night. It's called Growth Collective. So if you see that online, guys, it's a, it's a cool space for guys to come talk about life and business and personal and whatever you feel like. So yeah, I mean, we got stuff going on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And it's I all mean, about just... Give them back to the community. Yeah, just Let's, doing everything. And none of that stuff is paid, right? All of this stuff is free stuff. You know, after COVID, I think community has taken on a whole new level of, like, importance in our life. Yeah. I mean, like, you think, like, if you're not, like, Dan Butner and the Blue Zones was basically saying, if you don't socialize, you lose 15 years of lifespan. 
15 years of lifespan. So people, we are wired to socialize. And now, Interesting. now that after COVID where we couldn't, now we just, we yearn for community and we need the support and we need to, to help build each other up. And, and, and that's, that's really cool to be a part of that. Like we, we got to witness one of the craziest situations in human history with mm -hmm. COVID. And then we're coming off the, the back end of it. And I think our human race is going to be more successful because of it, because community is going to be like, it's going to be everything. Yeah. And, and that's, and that's what we're doing out so, here. Just building so, together, togetherness. Yeah. And no more competition. Love, love and peace and happiness. We, we can go, we can I go. could have probably been a hippie. Like go to music festival. When you think like Woodstock version hippie back when, Andy, let me know if I qualify. <laughs> Would I have fit? Would I have fit in back when you were a kid? Whoa! Um, whoa. Yeah. On that note, thank you for joining us again every Friday here on I Love St. Pete, talking business, talking local, local, local business on the I Love St. Pete page. That's Chris Talasano. My name is Brian Orr, and uh, we'll be signing off as soon as Chris gets back to the other side and oh, yeah. and clicks the thing. <laughs> Um, I'm out. But yeah, we appreciate you guys being here with us. And uh, we'll see you around town. And we'll see you here next Friday.